Hey there. Today, I'm going to show you a free way to create and customize a contact form using contact form 7. But we are not doing it the old school way. Instead, I'll show you how to turn a plain form like this into a slick professional looking one without any coding. You just copy, paste and you're good to go. It's super easy and I've added all the codes in the description below. So let me show you how to do this. First, let's make sure you have these three plugins installed. The star of the show, contact form 7, then element of and QA add-ons to add the form to our website. You can use block editor as well, but trust me, customization becomes easy when you use Elementor and QA add-ons. So let's head over to the contact form 7 plugin in your WordPress dashboard and click on form. This is where everything happens. Now you can use the traditional method like adding fields one at a time by clicking on these tabs and customizing each. But who has the time? Instead, grab the form one code I've linked in the description, copy it and paste it into the form editor. Just like that, your basic form is ready. Okay, we will now turn the basic form into this just by using CSS code snippet. Again, go to the description, copy the code and paste it at the very top of the form editor. Lastly, save it. Remember, don't touch the IDs or values in the code or else it will break and it won't work correctly. Now, I'll show you how to customize this CSS code to match your site design. But what if you want to add more fields like radio buttons and drop down menus? And don't worry, I got you. Again, go to the talk, copy form to code and come back, select everything in the editor and paste it. You're done. See how easy it was. Before we start customizing and adding this form to our website, let's make sure our email notifications are set up to receive responses. But before that, whenever I'm doing some design work for clients, I make sure to install this free plugin Airlift because, okay, let me actually show you this. So that's my site speed before and that's after. It does a lot of optimizations automatically and keeps stuff fast. So you should definitely try this and I'll leave the link in the description below. Let's make sure our email notifications are set up to receive responses. After this, I'll show you how you can store responses on the WordPress dashboard as well. So to configure email notifications, go to mail tab and enter the email address where you want responses sent. Make sure the from address matches your domain email for credibility or responses might end up in spam. Use SMTP if you don't have a domain email. Next, add a subject like new message from username with subject like this. All right. This is the most important part. In the message body, you have to be careful while pasting the template from the description below. So if you're using form one design, which is this, then go to the doc from the description, scroll down till you find form one message body. Once you find it, copy and paste it here. But if you're using form two design, which has radio buttons and more, then copy the form two message body from the doc and paste it here. Let's save the changes and done. Now that email notifications are set up, we will install one more plugin to store responses on our WordPress dashboard, which makes it easier for us to engage with our customers. So install and activate CFDB7 from the repository. Once done, you will see a menu called contact forms on the left. Click it and you're done. Yeah, that's it. You don't have to tweak any additional settings. It will automatically track your contact form and store responses. To check this, let's add form to our site. So go to your desired page and click edit with Elementor. You can simply drag and drop the contact form 7 widget into the container where you want the form to display. And I'll do that. All right, it's live. Now you can use QA add-ons to make basic changes like spacing and font size. But if you want to completely customize it, then we'll go back to our editor, scroll to the top and customize our CSS code field by field. Start by adjusting the form's width. This controls how wide or narrow it looks. Below that, you'll see options to change the margins, which determine the space around the form. For fonts, locate the relevant section and swap the font family to one that complements your site. You can also update the colors of the text, background and borders by replacing the hex codes with your preferred ones. For row spacing, Look for margin bottom setting in the CSS code. By increasing or decreasing this value, 
you can control the space between individual rows in the form. If your form has fields arranged side by side, then go to this section and edit the spacing. These small changes can significantly improve the layout and readability of your form. When it comes to labels, customization is straightforward. To increase the gap between a label and its input box, adjust the spacing value in the CSS like this. If you need to move the label section further down, modify the padding at the top. You can also make the labels bold or change their color and font size to match your branding. Finally, let's style the entry fields where users input their information. You can adjust the width to make the fields longer or shorter and change the padding to control their height. If you'd like to add or edit the border, find the border section in the code. By default, it's set to one pixel, but you can increase the thickness or update the color by entering a different hex code. The same goes for the background color and font size. Update these values to align with your overall design. To change the labels, just go to the text for each field and update it to match your needs. If you want to adjust placeholders, look for the placeholder section in the code and change the values there. These tweaks makes your form more user-friendly and clear. By following these steps, you can create a beautiful, fully customized contact form that looks great and enhances the user experience. And all it took was a little copying, pasting and tweaking. No coding expertise required. Comment below if you have any questions and I'll help you out. Click this video if you want to triple your site speed in just one minute. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.